welcome back. In the last video, we started building our email campaign. So let's carry on with that. Again, I'm in MailChimp and if I click campaigns, you'll see that if I go out of a campaign, I can always come back in, it's marked as draft. So I'll just click edit to continue editing that campaign. I was in the content section, so I'm going to click edit design. There we go. Right. So we'll just assume that it's all looking good. Before we carry on, it's worth mentioning merge tags. In the lists, uh, lessons, uh, videos, I mean, I, I touched on merge tags, but a merge tag is essentially where we can insert into our campaign, we can insert data that are in our list. So first name is a great example, because we know that if we personalize, or we know from research that if we personalize, we get far better interaction rates with our emails, far better conversions. So let's say we want to personalize our emails by saying, hi, first name. We quite simply, and I've just clicked on the text content block, And wherever we need to, we just will type in the words, for example, hi. And now I want to insert the first name of the person. So I just click this merge tags and click first name. So hi, F name. Looks a bit strange, but MailChimp will fill it in. So what MailChimp will do is it'll send an email address to the top email address and it'll look what is the corresponding first name and it'll go down the list. On the list videos, we went through how to set what's called a default merge tag value. And that is what will be inserted if we don't have a person's first name. So in this case, MailChimp will look against first name. And if there's a first name, it'll insert it. If there isn't a first name, it'll look what we've set at the list as a default merge tag value and insert that. We can insert merge tags in anywhere in text. So we could go here, need a new dog coat, merge tag, dog's name. I happen to have the dog's name in my list. So let's use that. Let's add that. Uh, we could do something like um, our fave country is merge tags country. And then it would insert the country, the country for each person. Each person would think that uh, it's been personalized. Our favorite uh, country is Singapore or England or Canada or New Zealand or Australia or wherever. So as long as you have the data and it's it's current and so on, we really should use it for a purpose. Don't, don't use it too much. It can get a bit too personal, but first name and so on. So that's that's a great idea to do. What we need to do now, assuming that we're happy with our email, we look through it, check that everything looks okay. Yep, all looking good. We now need to test, test, test all of us. If we haven't done it already, we will make the mistake of sending with content that's not right, where we haven't changed a hyperlink or something. So test, test, test. So we click preview and test. And the first stop is preview mode. And we can see what our email looks like roughly on a desktop device, on a mobile device. And if we want to test what it looks like and be sure on specific combinations of devices, we can pay to view it on a combination of a certain Samsung phone, for example, with um, with a certain email reader or with an iPhone, whatever, with a certain email reader and so on. We can do that. If we enable the live, uh, live, sorry, live merge tag info, we'll be able to see here that the that the merge tags are, are, are working. The default merge tag here, I have inserted uh, customer as the merge tag, and I'm just going to move across until I find one where I actually have the first name, just to show that it works. So George, there we go. So in my list, when I send to this person, Gary plus 13, it'll say, hi, George, and the dog's name is obviously Winston. They live in Australia, so it's inserted for them and so on. So that's the first test. The next test, Send a test email. Send yourself a test email. And once you receive that email, 
check the links work, check that it looks okay on multiple devices and so on. Next, preview and test, push to mobile. And you can view in, in, um, in the MailChimp app what your, your email may look like. Open link checker is handy. We can go through and wherever there's a link, we can see the destination that that link goes to when it loads up. Sorry, my internet connection is a bit slow, but it does usually work. The next thing, preview and test, is social cards. Not a test per se, but it's, it's definitely worth doing this. If we enable this, we have some control over what is shared on, um, if someone shares our URL on Facebook, Twitter, and so on. So for example, you'll see that um, Facebook, it really doesn't look good, my branding. So I could change to a different image. It's still not the best, but that doesn't matter. I could add a title and um, write a short description about it that would be shared on those on those platforms. So that's our testing done. We've tested, 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 all looking good. We click save and close. So again, from the top, we've done who we're sending to, from, subject, the content. At this stage, we can if we want to, and I mentioned this um, in an earlier video, that when we when we send an, an email through MailChimp, a version of that email is kept online. And here we can change, if we really want to, we can change the URL that it's kept at. We can automatically post saying that we've updated uh, Facebook, etc., Twitter and so on. So if I enable this, for example, I can select the page I want to share to, and um, I could change that text and so on and add an image and share to Facebook. Right, under settings and trackings, most of us won't need to touch this, but if I click edit, use conversations to manage replies, um, you know, if you're sending to a lot of people, 100,000, a million, 10 million, whatever, you might get a lot of out of office replies and MailChimp does a good job at removing most of those. And also um, a flow or that conversation flow is kept in the reports then for us to view at a later stage. So we could enable that. There are various other options here. Most people just leave them. If you have e-commerce, for example, you could enable the e-commerce link tracking. If you use Salesforce and it's connected, you could um, en enable the, the, the tracking there and so on. But most of us will just leave it. We're now ready to send. So we have two options. We can schedule or we can send. I will send this in a short while. Something to know about sending in MailChimp. Unless you're on the pro account, once we've sent, you cannot stop sending. MailChimp has very good infrastructure and sends very quickly. If you're sending a thousand, 10,000 emails, they're going to go extremely quickly. But even if you're sending a million at one time, you're not going to be able to stop it unless you have MailChimp Pro. If we schedule, we can still amend the email before it sends. So if I click schedule, just to illustrate this, what a lot of my clients will even do is, let's say um, they have a, a quiet week in a month or something, they'll schedule for the next few weeks in the month and just schedule one a week or whatever the case might be. So you could select the delivery date, you could send at a specific time, um, sending in batches, look these days it's not that popular, but you can if you want to, and you can't, can oh, sorry, MailChimp to optimize the send time. From my experience, you probably know your send time better than anyone else. I often ask in my personal classes anyway, and I'll, I'll say to the class, say, okay, what is the best time to send email marketing? And um, quite often I get someone will put up their hand and say, oh, it's 10 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. And I'll say, why? And they'll say, well, because I read that somewhere. Well, no, you know, that's not really the answer. Well, it's, it's not the correct answer. The thing is this, and it probably differs for, for many of us. Uh, People read their emails typically within an hour of receiving them. But people don't go back and action an email. So what we want to do is we want to send an email to people when they're in the right frame of mind to make the purchasing decision. So if, um, and this is maybe why you'll find that uh, your local pizza 
pizza delivery place or whatever will send an email to you at you know four o'clock in the afternoon five o'clock maybe even six o'clock in the afternoon because you've got dinner on the mind you need to get something for dinner and so on if they sent it at maybe eight in the morning it just doesn't make sense because the person might open your email before nine o'clock but they're not in the right frame of mind to buy so it might differ for all of us what i'm going to do now however is just send the email so i click send Freddie's hand appears and you know everyone loves this um he starts to sweat eventually because all of us have felt this once we click send it's gone and you don't want to make a mistake because we can't stop it so i'm going to click send and i'll go Ooh. no it's gone okay okay i can be sure that it's gone very very quickly if i really want to i can play a little game i can high five Freddie's hand and you'll notice that it slowly goes more and more red last but not least I get to play a little bit of a game after high-fiving him enough and you can play that in your own time. So it has been sent. Your recipients will start receiving this in the next few minutes. Your reports will start to come through and we're going to cover that in a separate video. If I click campaigns, so I've spoken a little bit about how we don't actually use templates per se, although we kind of do. We use a campaign and copy that for the future. So what I mean by that is in the future, because we spent so much time getting this first one right, we would just click next to it and click replicate. And that will copy it exactly, replicate it exactly. We can then just reverse engineer it or change whatever we need to do. And it's really, really quick and simple. I spend a lot of time in airports and and this is my workflow and it, it takes minutes to send an, an email campaign you replicate one that worked very well in the past quickly change the content change the links whatever and send it thank you for joining me for email campaigns